My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. What a good looking car, 61 Bonneville Bubble Top. Seriously, I think this is so handsome. I got this from a collector down in Tennessee. He's got about 45 cars. He'll let me buy one or two cars out of, at a time. I would see him about once a year. I seen this car and I couldn't get it out of his hands till the following year when I visited him. Good looking car. If you go to volocars.com, you can read all the specs, get the price, study about 100 pictures. Not only of this one, but of a few hundred collector cars that are all for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon and you'll be the first to see the next ones that come out. You'll be notified. Right now, why don't you go for a spin with me in the 61 Pontiac Bonneville. They call it the bubble top because that's what it looks like. Here you got the bubble rear window. There's lots of other roof lines, but this is the bubble top. The car just sits proud. It just looks aggressive, but uh, just tasteful. I like the, the big cutout wheel well. It, it's just a handsome car. It's got a silver metallic paint job. It's smooth everywhere, no signs of rust. All clean around this wheel well lip right here. All smooth along the bottom. This paint job is at least five or six years old that I know of and uh, it's holding up really well. Look how nice the trunk fits. The three tail lights with the chrome. The emblem looks new. The bumper's been replated. Look how the bumper comes up. It's part of, part of the rear tail fin here. I think that's a cool feature. And a chrome emblem, big wide stainless moldings that go all the way up here, and it has Bonneville in gold letters. That is cool has a tri-power emblem. It's a four barrel under there, but that is a really cool emblem. I would almost like a set of those just to put on my wall in my office. That's a cool retro emblem. Door handles are nice. Radial Redline Goodyear tires with wire wheels and spinners. I know those aren't the original wheels for the car, but I think they look good on there. It's got these cool chrome spears on top of the fenders. Bumper is beautiful. I did notice uh, right by the bolt there, they over-tightened it and a little bit of the chrome peeled off there. This hood weighs a ton. Let me open it up. I had it open just a second ago. I'll figure it out. There we go. It's a 389. I think it's 304 horsepower. They rate it at white interior. The upholstery was redone. It's no rips, no tears. Got good cushion. Door panels were upholstered. Carpet was replaced. It's got a nice blue and white dashboard. Has a padded dash. Glass is nice and clear. Beautiful trunk, all clean metal, all painted nice. It has Pontiac used like a red mat. That's what it has. Has this spare. I don't see a jack. I see part of the jack. I don't know if the whole thing is underneath the tire or not. New, nice new weather strip. So a nice big clean trunk compartment. The weather strips are in nice shape. There's a chunk missing here at the top, but the door jams are clean. Sill plates are original. They're a little bit beat up. And the steering wheel does have some cracks in it. If I were keeping this car for me personally, I'd probably get a new steering wheel. It looks like the lights work. It has really nice blue Pontiac floor mats uh, in the car. It's got seat belts in the front. So it features power steering and power brakes. We're actually replacing the power brake booster. It's not working properly. Uh, mechanic's going to replace that, so that'll be new. It's got a new battery bolted down. Uh, chrome valve covers, the correct ones. That's not the correct air cleaner, but it's chrome and it looks good. And everything in here looks real respectable, tidy, looks proper. Underneath the car is really dry. The metal is solid as can be. Um, I think it's got gas, Coney gas shocks. It does. <clears throat> 
Oh, that's a big car. It just misses the wall. I'm going to get around to the other side. We're going to start it up for you. It's got the hydromatic uh, transmission. Seat feels good. Headliner is white and real nice shape. Visors are real nice. The overhead lights work. Windshield's crystal clear. Seats feel so good, that's why I'm not getting out. It's been a long day. Motor runs smooth as can be. It looks like a newer Edelbrock carburetor. That is a heavy hood. It's funny, I just noticed there's only a seatbelt on the driver's side. He must not have cared about the passengers. One, you don't need a seat belt. You're legal to drive without them, but it's easy to add seat belts. That's something that we can do right here. So anyway, you want a car that not everyone has. You want to go to the gas stations or cruise nights or get ice cream. People are going to come up and see this, talk about this handsome car. I probably said it 10 times now if anyone's counting, but I really think it's a good looker. I'm in the car world. I never see these. I would take the bubble top over the convertible. I won't say it again. Yeah, I will. It's a good-looking car. Visit volocars.com. That's where you can contact us. We'll answer any questions about the car, the process. We have delivery. We have financing. Let us know how we can help you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one that comes out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.